Personalized medicine is the notion that by using a combination of biological information and cultural and social information, we can individually tailor treatment for you so that it's not simply one medication in the same dose for everybody. It's the way that we can really make a major advance, a, a paradigm shift in how we treat patients. Pharmacogenetics is the study of how uh, genes that affect drug metabolism and drug efficacy, responsiveness, how common variants in those genes can affect uh, drug response. And pharmacogenomics is looking at the entire genome, not only at one gene at a time, but looking for clues as to new, new molecular targets for new medications. But the actual practice of that with patients is something different. That's taking what we know about how genes and drugs interact, but then starting over and saying to a new patient, this is your genotype, that's personalized medicine using pharmacogenetics. The question of whether or not the new genomics personalized medicine will affect certain groups more than others is a very important one. There is some concern that, uh, that the people who will benefit the most and the soonest will be those of European ancestry. The reason for that is that a lot of the data that we have on how certain genes affect certain drug responses is from clinical trials where 80, 90 percent of the people who are enrolled are white. So we're really eager to have large data sets of African Americans and Latinas and, and uh, Asian Americans. I think it's an exciting time because we can focus as much on the biological causes for why there are inequities in health um, and adjust our medication, our treatment accordingly. Ten years from now, uh, I would like it to be a standard of care, uh, considered best practice model to genetically test before giving any medication. Ultimately, what will happen is it will be inexpensive to do a person's entire genome and sequence it, and, and that only has to be done once in a lifetime. And it, once it's in the computer, then every time the doctor goes to that computer and orders a medication, there will be a flag saying, well, you might want to reduce the dose of this medication, or red flag saying, don't give it. It causes liver necrosis, liver death, or there's a green light, go forward but don't use too high a dose. And that's the kind of level of, of information that electronic health systems can provide. They already do that with drug interactions, for drug allergies, automatically. Substitute genetics for that, and that could be done today.